Nicholas Lani, it's March 10th. Uh, we are uh, camped at 10,000 feet on a little shoulder of the Southwest Ridge. Um, it is, uh, we just, we're still in the tent, three of us in a two-person Terra Helleberg. Uh, it's handling the winds okay. We uh, are currently in a windstorm. It's about um, uh, blowing about, gusting about 40. Uh, but clear skies, which is good. Um, we're hanging tight here because of, uh, the cold and, uh, um, uh, Chris picked up a little frostbite on his feet, so we're not taking any chances of traveling on the, in the, in the extreme cold. We're waiting for the sun to come around at this little point for, uh, to hit our tent before we start getting ready. Um, I, when we got here last night, I went up to, 11,000 feet uh, to take a good look at the route and found that um, right at about 11,000, just past 11,000 feet, there's a rock uh, section of ridge, which is just impossible to do in winter. Um, I don't know if it was different than when it was first climbed in 1978, when there was a little bit more ice and it was a, the ridge was a little bit more glaciated. Uh, but currently it's, uh, it's just impossible, uh, section to do in the winter. Uh, probably too technical, you'd freeze all your digits, especially with the forecast we got coming up of, uh, minus 60 wind chills on the summit of Hunter. So, uh, what we are going to do is we're waiting here for the sun to come back. Uh, in a few hours we're going to take off and head down the southwest ridge. Uh, down a very steep ice section, uh, that we came up yesterday. Uh, we had six pitches of, uh, of ice where we, uh, to, to, to get where we are now. Uh, so when we go back, we got, uh, six repels to do basically, uh, to get back down to 9,500. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're heading down the mountain, uh, but we're gonna play it safe, let the sun come around and, um, uh, do that, and then um, I'll have another update here in a second uh, about what we're what our plans are from there. All right. Hi, this is Lonnie. It's March 10th. This is update number two. Um, when we uh, when we leave uh, 10,000 camp to head down to 9,500, um, we are going to stay uh, overnight at 9,500 and leave super early in the morning. To head down the chute to our advanced base camp where our sleds and skis are. This chute is a 2,500 foot chute that contains uh, a little bit of snow and so we're worried about avalanches so we're going to do it at the coldest part of the day uh, in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning and so um, we hope to start like 6 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning and be down there by 8 eight o'clock. Uh, so that's the, the thing we're more, most nervous about. Um, and um, so we're just playing it extra safe, letting everything slide, get some sun on it. Um, this uh, new snow we had a couple of days ago, we just want to make sure it's all slid already before we head down. Anyways, that's the update. Uh, we're going to set a spot beacon tonight. Uh, spot uh position tonight so you know that we're back at 95 uh, safely and then we'll do the same again when we get down to advanced base camp. Um, that's all for now. Stay tuned um, and we'll uh, try to call in again uh, tomorrow morning. All right. Bye-bye.